I strike out cross country on my long leg bay mare, well-bred, thoroughbred mare. She carries me to no martial conflict, no victory nor conquest our goal, no prize in mind, no hunt to be concluded with a kill. Our destination, simply traveling, and a return to where we started. The trip's purpose, the trip itself, and my communion with the beast. The hit of her power, the infusion of her strength and vitality, the rolling timpani of her limbs as I sit on her shoulders on the cradling wave of her spine beneath me. Such primal peristaltic pleasure, such autonomic delight, puts animal intention in my step and crowns me with a sense of dominion. The pride of the horseman. So she carries me, generous and without complaint. The very landscape we traverse translated through her. I am transfused with the journey and the pure intoxication of covering ground. No more meaning than this. This sublime conversation that I speak with my hands, my legs, my weight, my voice, and she answers with her eyes, her ears, the toss of her head, her whole body in reply. These symbiotic pleasures, ordained and mystical, lodged so deep within us as though we shared marrow and blood. Till that changeling moment when grass eater and meat eater, prey animal and predator, strangely and wonderfully wed, each serving the other, become an altogether new and mythical beast. The metamorphosis is complete. And always the end of our journey. Always and simply to return. To return to where we started. Forever altered. Ever the same.